What has been allowed to happen to the residents of Ashraf and Liberty violates sacred honor, the rights of humanity, the regard of the military, the national character not only of America but of the entire world. Promises should be maintained by the Iraqi government and the United States. The residents of Ashraf signed a ceasefire agreement with the United States. They surrendered their weapons to the United States and they accepted protected person status from the United States. We too, as a nation, must honor our promises. Until we go back and fulfill those promises, we should all stand firm against the violations of honor, the disregard of humanity, and the failure to respect the liberties of the residents of Ashraf and Liberty. Just as the U.S. must honor those agreements, so must the United Nations. To date, the United Nations ha have handled the situation at Ashraf and Liberty no better than the United Nations handled the situation in Rwanda. The United Nations is, claims to be still addressing that issue. The United Nations has spent more time putting a security officer in Ashraf, in Liberty, than the United States military spent fighting the Spanish-American War. We must move at different paces. The misinformation against the PMOI, I look at all the time and I see three sources. The Iranian government, now supported by the corrupt Maliki regime, the U.S. State Department bureaucrats, reporters too lazy to find out the proper facts and their interest in selling sensationalism rather than documenting the truth. To my brothers and sisters at Ashraf and Liberty, you are the testimonial to democracy and humanity. Despite You are the real heroes in this fight. We stand together today. We stood together on field of battle yesterday, uh, last years ago, and we will remain together always. My brothers and sisters, I salute you.